there, but my name is Josh Lawson. I'm a senior director of business development here at Centium. Uh, hard T there, Ben, but it's okay. Uh, so we are a 3D printing uh, manufacturer, industrial 3D printing manufacturer. We manufacture both the machines and the materials. Um, we are located here in Austin, Texas. A little bit about us. We our headquarters is here in Austin, but we have uh, sites all over the world, Europe, Asia, uh, also Mexico, but we are eight years old as a company. Uh, and we've worked with corporate partners, both on the material side, the software side, machine side. Uh, but then we've also worked with some of our key customers, both with uh, in the private sector and the public sector on the DOD side, um, and some of our uh, customers down there that you guys can see down there at the bottom. A uh, little bit about Ascentium. So uh, we are what we would consider a category creator in additive manufacturing. So uh, we built this based off of our 3D printing machine, the HSE, which stands for high speed extrusion. Uh, that allows us to go five times the speed and 80% of cost savings of our closest competitor in the space uh, with proven adoption in both the DOD and some of the world's most demanding manufacturers. Uh, like I mentioned, we manufacture all of our own filaments in-house, uh, so we have a very diverse portfolio of both high-performance polymers and composites. Uh, we combine that with industry's most advanced high-speed extrusion additive system for large-scale uh, manufacturing. Like I mentioned, we work with both uh, DOD and uh, uh, private companies in aerospace, automotive, contract manufacturing. Um, and really what the advantage for additive in general, but also with Ascentium, it gives you the freedom of design, it gives you cost and time savings, it gives you the streamlined supply chain, which we're all currently feeling. Uh, it supports sustainability, uh, and then it gives you a cure for obsolescence. But to date, one of the biggest pieces that has been missing is a machine and a material portfolio that gives you the strength, the speed, and the scalability. As you can see here in the product life cycle, uh, historically, additive manufacturing has been focused just on uh, prototyping, but what Ascentium is doing is it's moving into full production uh, all the way into after or, or end of life uh, production for spare parts production. As you can see here, we have a lot of applications that we can work on uh, with both our private and our public uh, customers, everything from jigs and fixtures to end use parts uh, and rapid prototyping. A couple of use cases that we're really proud of. Um, as you can see here, we've worked with the Air Force. We were given a contract last year, which is a four-year uh, contract with the United States Air Force to improve additive manufacturing. Their study came back on multiple parts, but a few here where they saw uh, just on these three pieces uh, here, average savings using our high-speed extrusion platform of 80% cost savings over uh, our competitor in the space. So what this allows them to do is scale up with additive manufacturing. Uh, we have over 20 uh, industrial grade uh, materials in our current portfolio, everything ranging from nylons up to high performance aerospace grade uh, materials in house. Um, and then we have our industrial machines. Uh, we have uh, our newest release platform, which is our 280i platform, which is the industry's first dual independent head platform, meaning you have two heads moving at the same time. Uh, what that allows us to do is have five different print modes, everything from single head to support mode, to printing with multiple materials and even copy mode uh, on there. We also have a full range of uh, uh, HSC 180 printers, as you can see here. So just to end here quickly, uh, as we have worked with customers all over the world, uh, everyone is, is creating a additive manufacturing strategy to support or replace their traditional manufacturing. So I would say if you don't have a robust additive strategy, you're both leaving productivity and dollars on the table and your competitors are gaining a competitive edge. So the future of manufacturing will have additive at its core and we'd love to partner with you in the journey to that reality. Thank you.